Today we are kicking things off with some of the stories that caught our eye to help you start your morning. So here is what you need to know today. First, our thoughts go out to one of our favorites. Veep star Julia Louis-Dreyfus has had quite a roller coaster few weeks. Earlier this month, she broke her own record winning streak, taking her sixth consecutive Emmy, which was amazing. But then the very next day, she was given some scary news. She's announced that she has breast cancer. The diagnosis she revealed uh, yesterday on Twitter, writing, one in eight women get breast cancer. Today, I'm the one. The good news is, she writes, that I have the most glorious group of supportive and caring family and friends. The bad news is that not all women are so lucky. So let's fight all cancers and make universal health care a reality. First of all, what a thing to take her moment and try to make it about others, you know? and like, just try to help others. Uh, one of the people who reached out to her was her Seinfeld co-star, Jason Alexander, who tweeted back, so sorry I have to go through this, pal, but I know you will prevail. And also former Vice President Joe Biden, who wrote, uh, tweeted out saying, we veeps stick together. <laughs> you know, it's just one of the, it's a, it just reminds you of what life is, right? Yeah. These great joys and these, these troubles, and that's, that's what this thing is. It's rich with all of it. You know, we've all been through that. Even someone as successful and famous and awesome as Julia Louis-Dreyfus. So anyway, all our best to her. Uh, all right, here's one for you. A blogger in Portland has posted a list of do's and don'ts for her daughter, and it has gone completely viral in part because they're all don'ts and they're all dead on. <laughs> one, she says, don't apologize when someone else bumps into you. Do you do that? Yeah. All the time. And then I get angry. Like, what the hell? Do I, why did I say I was sorry? I'm not sorry. It is his fault. Don't say, sorry to be such a pain. I do that too. Sorry to be, when you're asking somebody to do something, even at work, somebody who's supposed to do it. Uh, you're a person, she writes, with thoughts and feelings who deserves respect. She says, don't make up reasons as to why you can't go out with a guy you don't want to go out with. You don't owe anyone an explanation. You ever heard this? No is a complete sentence. <laughs> Remember that. She makes a similar point. She says, don't say yes to be polite. Say no, because it's your life. Uh, her point to not apologize for just existing, uh, it, that's basically what she's telling her daughter, is what women are often raised to do, you know, to just be sort of submissive in every interaction. And I feel like hopefully we're coming to this point where we're not doing that anymore, where we're just, here we are, here we are, have at us, and, and they do. Um, okay, so it, it's about that time of day when I start wanting a second cup of coffee, or in this morning, my third. Um, who's with me? Anybody? Yes? So good news, it is National Coffee Day. You can drink it for free in all these places today. Krispy Kreme, Cinnabon, Pete's, and other national chains feeding our caffeine addiction today with special free offers. You have to wait till the show is over before you go. Yes. Thank you, Emma. But I want to let you know that... Um, just FYI, it's like buy one, get one free at most of the places. Uh, yeah, so we'll get to the bottom of this before the end of the show. Thank you very much, Madam. Emma, everyone. So, are you looking for a man? Tall, dark, and handsome. That's what we were told, right? We were supposed to want, right? Wrong, wrong. The Huffington Post compiled what therapists and psychologists had to say about qualities we should be looking for in a spouse. And as a married woman, I have to say they ring very true to me. Number one, they don't freak out during a traffic jam, <laughs> which proves they can tolerate frustration. Number two, they tell the cashier if they get too much change back. Reveals whether they're honest, right? Uh, three, they're comfortable talking about sex. I like talking about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> number four, they fight fair. That's huge, right? That is huge. My husband's actually in the audience here today, Doug. There's Duggar. And we do, we do fight fair, and that is key. You know, it's not like we never say anything that we regret, but we never get nasty with personal insults, you know, like dropping the F-bomb on each other or things like that, right? But, but it's important to argue, right? We argue sometimes, don't we, Doug? We do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, but I think that's, you feel better after you have an argument and you talk it out. And, and as my pal Dr. Phil says, how can you win when the person you love most in life is losing? You know, so it's a good thing to remember. I think we, we fight that way when we do. Anyway, um, by the way, good luck finding a man that dresses well. According to a survey by Perry Ellis, 81% of men say they have no idea what to wear on most occasions. I will do Doug the favor of not going back to him on that one. <laughs> 
All right, I want to get to other news today because we so, showed pictures of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. They stepped out together publicly for the first time this week. All eyes were on them, as they always are. And we have news for you. NBC's Keir Simmons was in Canada for the big trip. He is back to share all of the details of what happened with them. Hey, Hey. Double kiss. I know. You're a fan. Fan. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I know. They love you. They love you. I love this. All I'm, right. I'm going to ask for applause like this up before every broadcast it, I do from now it really, on. It's, it's very uplifting, isn't it? I love it. it? You want to sit here? Have I a seat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, here's my first question. Mm -hmm. On Monday, they were holding hands in yeah. public. This is apparently a huge deal. Right. What does it mean? Anything? <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, I mean, the amazing thing was the first time we saw them, we saw them at the opening ceremony, and it was like something out of the pages of a Jane Austen novel. Yes, yeah. right, right. <laughs> they're 18, Arms length. Right, they're 18 seats apart. Uh, and you can imagine the royal courtiers kind of figuring that out, can't, can't you? You know, can, um, how far apart do you think it would be appropriate for them to sit? <laughs> 18 seats be enough? Well, but what a difference like, a day makes. And what a difference a day makes. There they are, and not only are they seen together, but they're holding hands. Love birds. It's, and the, the, the chemistry is amazing. Yeah, you, know, you can tell they love each other. They're whispering, they're giggling. What, are they going to get married fun. or what? I mean, are we expecting a, an engagement <laughs> announcement? Can I take a risk here? Yeah. I say yes. <laughs> I say... I say we're looking at an American princess. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is there any chance? I'll tell you, what, I'll tell you why I yeah, think that. Ahead. It's because how can he can't put the toothpaste back in the tube? How can he? <laughs> I don't can, even know what he means there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How can he? How can they split up? Uh, you know, kind of not get engaged, not get married after he he's been so public like that. What do you mean? Holding hands why can't they? Well, because these are royals. People get cold feet. <laughs> What about, um, do, do you think that there's any chance they might have residency here since she's an American? I think it's possible. Really? Yeah, I really do. She's feisty. I mean, you look at those pictures. <laughs> Look at those pictures. Uh, you know, everyone talked about the fact that they were holding hands in those pictures, but one of the things that I really noticed was the ripped jeans, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. The, the shirt untucked. Uh, she's the flat shoes. She's, you know, kind of her own woman. Yeah. So I think this And he be... loves her that way. And he loves we her. We love that... about him. Right, exactly. So, and they're both, I think, got quite rebellious characters. We yeah. know that about Harry. So if she says, I want to live in the States, I could see him agreeing to that. Because he's not directly, he's like fifth in line for right. the throne, given all the kids Prince William's had and all right, that. Right, right, so, right, right. He should do what he wants. <laughs> it's great to be Prince Harry. That's I think what it's he better, maybe. Too. Yeah. Keir, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be Good here. To see you. Thanks, guys. Keir Simmons, everybody. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.